one of the things that you get with the CNC router is you do actually get a Z touch probe, which will allow you to automatically set your zero on your Z axis um, by use of a small metal puck and an alligator clip. That looks like this. Um, this is the same thing you can buy on Amazon or any place else. They just happen to include it with this one, which is, I think, a great uh, add on. But one of the things that uh, I did notice is that they don't really give you a script to use it. So I did find a script and that will actually be, I'll have a link to that in the uh, in the comments below as to what my script is that I use. Um, it's already configured to uh, you know travel for 12 millimeters before it finds the probe and it also is designed to retract 5 millimeters after it touches off so you'll go up to uh, 25 millimeters because the probe base is 20 millimeters high. Uh, in this case, measure yours. Yours might be different. Um, I did have one that was like 0.76 inches when I was working at Imperial, um, but you're going to want to make sure that that works right. But I want to show you how this works. Um, once again, my code and my VB script is already in Mach 3, so I'm not going to show you that part, but I will share that part. And like I said, you will see that in the notes below. So I'm going to pan this camera over and you're going to take a look at what I'm doing. One of the first things I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my Z axis up to a reasonable height. I'm going to position my work underneath it. We'll assume that right now I just happen to be at my X and my Y, uh, X and my Y zero, and that I'm getting ready to carve. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically take our, our Z axis touch probe. We're going to take our alligator clip. We're going to bring it in close. We're going to hook our alligator clip up to our z-axis bit, the bit in our router. Now I'm going to get a little closer than this only because I don't want it to time out or run out of space before it has an opportunity to touch off. So I'm going to come down to it within a reasonable distance. I think I'm probably about five or six millimeters away. Now within Mach 3 there is a button called Auto Tool Zero and that is the one that we're going to talk about how to uh, use the script that I'm sharing with you. But what we're going to do is we're going to click on Auto Tool Zero, and what we're going to see is we're going to see the Z-axis go down, touch off, and then retract. And it looks just like this. It's going down, it's almost there, touch, and retract. And that is it. Like I said, my script for doing this, I'm going to attach that. Uh, I am running, uh, what version of Mach 3 am I running? I am running 304-3066. I thought I was older than that. But I'm running 304-3066. And my script works in here. Um, it is set up. The script that I'm going to share with you is set up for uh, metric, so you can see the numbers being kind of high, like 20 millimeters for the puck height and uh, the retract and the distance to touch. But I just want to share this with you, so maybe it'll be easier for you to do too. Talk to you later.
not too shabby. <laughs> 